The greatest challenge in developing a fully reusable spacecraft lies in its thermal protection system, an obstacle even SpaceX founder Elon Musk has acknowledged as formidable. Yet a lesser-known company, Sierra Space, has achieved a remarkable breakthrough. They have engineered an entirely new heat shield for their Dream Chaser vehicle, enabling it to withstand multiple re-entries while remaining fully reusable. How did they accomplish this feat? What cutting-edge technology powers this innovation? Let's dive in and explore on today's episode. The greatest challenge in safely returning spacecraft to Earth is our atmosphere. While this protective shell shields us from cosmic rays and constant meteor showers, it also causes satellites with decayed orbits to burn up unless they are equipped with specialized heat protection. Despite its cutting-edge design, SpaceX's Starship has struggled with this phase of re-entry, experiencing damage to its heat shield tiles, with some even detaching under the immense heat and pressure. This issue has raised concerns about the reliability and durability of current thermal protection systems, especially for vehicles designed for rapid reuse. However, Sierra Space may have found the solution. Sierra Space has recently partnered with the U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, a premier federally funded research center in Tennessee, to develop a revolutionary thermal protection system. This state-of-the-art technology is engineered to withstand the extreme heat of atmospheric reentry while enabling high-frequency reusable space missions. If successful, it could set a new standard for spacecraft durability and reusability. The system builds upon the foundation of NASA's previous space shuttle heat shield technology, but with significant improvements. The TPS tiles are crafted from a proprietary composite material that blends the strength of carbon fiber with the high temperature resistance of ceramic. These lightweight, durable tiles provide the essential thermal insulation needed to protect spacecraft during re-entry ensuring stable flight dynamics even as they endure temperatures exceeding 1740 degrees celsius while traveling at speeds beyond mach 17 which is approximately 21,000 kilometers per hour during the space shuttle era nasa meticulously designed its thermal protection system to safeguard the vehicle's metal structure from intense heat the system utilized a variety of heat resistant materials including reusable surface insulation tiles NASA classified these tiles into two primary categories, low temperature and high temperature insulation, based on their protective coatings. High temperature insulation tiles were coated with black borosilicate glass, which had an emittance value greater than 0.8, allowing them to withstand temperatures up to 1,260 degrees Celsius. Emittance or emissivity measures how well a material gives off heat as infrared radiation. It ranges from zero to one. Zero means it reflects all heat and emits none, while one means it emits heat perfectly like a black body. This property is crucial for applications like insulation, spacecraft heat control, and thermal coatings. Meanwhile, low temperature insulation tiles featuring a white surface coating were used in areas exposed to temperatures up to 649 degrees Celsius, ensuring proper heat regulation during orbit. Despite its ingenuity, the Space Shuttle's heat shield system had significant flaws. It was highly complex, costly, and prone to damage. The first shuttle flight, STS-1, experienced frequent tile detachment, delaying future launches, and exposing a critical design weakness. With thousands of uniquely shaped tiles, any damage required extensive repair or replacement, a process that could take months. This contradicted the shuttle's intended goal of quick turnaround and rapid reuse, ultimately limiting its operational efficiency. Learning from past challenges, Sierra Space has introduced major improvements in its Dream Chaser TPS. While inspired by the shuttle design, these next-generation heat shields incorporate modern advancements in materials science and manufacturing techniques to enhance strength while reducing costs. One key difference is tile size. Dream Chaser's tiles measure approximately 10 inches by 10 inches, significantly larger than the shuttle's 6 inch by 6 inch tiles. This reduces the number of individual tiles needed, simplifying installation and improving structural integrity. Moreover, 
These tiles are engineered to be lighter and stronger, meeting all micrometeoroid and orbital debris requirements for safe entry, descent, and runway landings, whether for crew or cargo missions. Sierra Space has emphasized the critical role of this breakthrough technology, stating, this new thermal protection system was created to meet the needs of a commercial space industry that is moving at a faster pace than previous generations of spaceflight and now requires more missions over shorter periods of time. The company is confident that its heat shields will enable the Dream Chaser spacecraft to complete at least 15 missions, a significant leap forward in sustainable spaceflight. Sierra Space CEO Tom Vice further highlighted the significance of this development. Today marks a new era of spaceflight safety technology, and it's going to enable travel to low Earth orbit that will eventually rival the frequency of commercial air travel. Our patent-pending thermal protection system is like nothing ever before created and essential to a near future where space travel becomes routine. Reusability of space vehicles is a key factor in expanding the commercial space industry, and to do that, we need new technology to keep spacecraft and crew safe. The first phase of development for Sierra Space's thermal protection system has now been successfully completed. The next stage will involve rigorous testing at NASA's ArcJet Plasma Facility, where the tiles will be subjected to extreme heat conditions mimicking atmospheric reentry. Engineers will also explore advanced manufacturing techniques to reduce production costs ensuring that the technology remains both effective and commercially viable. The most exciting part is that we won't have to wait long to see these revolutionary heat shields in action. Sierra Space plans to implement this new TPS on its Dream Chaser space plane moving forward, including the second Dream Chaser vehicle aptly named Reverence. If successful, this could mark a major milestone in making spaceflight more reliable, cost-effective, and ultimately more accessible. With each innovation, the barriers to space travel continue to fall, bringing us closer to a future where spacecraft routinely return from orbit and launch again with minimal downtime. Sierra Space's breakthrough in thermal protection may not only solve one of spaceflight's greatest engineering challenges, but also pave the way for an era where space travel becomes as routine as flying across the globe. Before that, all eyes are on the highly anticipated first flights of Dream Chaser. Made possible by its inaugural version, Tenacity, for this milestone mission, Dream Chaser is set to launch vertically atop a Vulcan Centaur rocket before autonomously landing horizontally on a conventional runway. The launch is targeted for no later than May of this year, though Vulcan's exact timeline for Dream Chaser remains uncertain. Regardless, Sierra Space is nearing completion of tenacity in preparation for this historic flight. Late last month, the company shared an exciting update on its X page, our Dream Chaser space plane is one step closer to resupplying the space station. Thanks to a successful test in collaboration with NASA, this test showcased several of Dream Chaser's key capabilities, including its ability to power on, maintain air cooling, and exchange data with multiple powered payloads within its pressurized cabin. It marked a major step toward Dream Chaser's mission to resupply the International Space Station. The joint test confirmed that Sierra Space can reliably provide power within a precise voltage range and maintain the necessary environmental conditions for sensitive payloads. Additionally, the test ensured that all vehicle and payload data were accessible in real time at both Sierra Space's Mission Control in Louisville, Colorado, and NASA's Payload Support Control Rooms at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Three key payloads were successfully evaluated during the test, all of which are strong candidates for flight on DCC-1, Dream Chaser's inaugural mission. These included a cryogenic preservation system called Polar, developed by the University of Alabama at Birmingham in collaboration with NASA's Cold Stowage Lab, a power descent utility locker, and NASA's single stowage locker. Pablo Gonzalez, Vice President of Crew and Cargo Transportation Systems at Sierra Space, emphasized the importance of this achievement. 
Tests like these are critical demonstrations of the capabilities of the Dream Chaser space plane and confirm our ability to handle specialized payloads, such as vital scientific research, that will be integral to our mission to the ISS. This milestone highlights Dream Chaser's flexibility, reliability, and capability to meet the diverse needs of our payload customers, including NASA and commercial partners, and it brings us another step closer to launch. Dream Chaser's evolution into the spacecraft we see today is the result of cutting-edge technology combined with decades of aerospace expertise. Its design is inspired by NASA's HL-20 personnel launch system, a space plane concept that prioritized efficiency, reusability, and maintainability. While the space shuttle revolutionized American spaceflight, it fell short of its goal to make space travel more cost-effective. The HL-20 PLS was conceived with a different approach, emphasizing streamlined manufacturing, simplified maintenance, and aviation-style certification processes to ensure reliability and flight readiness. Dream Chaser retains the HL-20's iconic shape, featuring two canted fins, a central fin, and seven control surfaces. This hybrid design, part-lifting body, part-winged vehicle, grants its superior aerodynamic performance, with the canted fins contributing approximately half of the total lift. To enhance Dream Chaser's cargo capacity, Sierra Space introduced the Shooting Star cargo module in 2019. This expendable 15-foot transport module attaches to Dream Chaser, significantly expanding its payload capabilities for CRS-2 missions. The Shooting Star is designed to carry up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to low Earth orbit. Its aft hatch allows astronauts to move freely between the cargo module and Dream Chaser while docked to the space station, making it an efficient logistic solution. Beyond cargo transport, the Shooting Star is equipped with solar panels generating up to 6 kilowatts of power and features both active and passive thermal management systems. It also houses six thrusters that enhance Dream Chaser's maneuverability, supporting multiple berthing and docking configurations with the ISS. Sierra Space envisions the Shooting Star as more than just a cargo carrier. It has the potential to support various low-Earth orbit and cislunar missions. The company has also developed a free-flying variant of the module, offering expanded mission flexibility and additional operational capabilities. Additionally, the module enables the safe disposal of waste cargo by burning up upon re-entry. Shooting Star is now in its final stages of development. Late last year, Sierra Space shared another update on X, as our first Shooting Star cargo module undergoes final testing at NASA Kennedy in Florida, our second and third cargo modules are in build at our Dream Factory in Colorado. These modules significantly increase the cargo capacity of Dream Chaser and provide versatile capability. Sierra Space isn't stopping at spacecraft development. Its ambitions extend to space station technology as well. The company has been making rapid progress on its life, large, integrated, flexible environment commercial space station. Recently, they posted, We have successfully completed our sixth stress test and fourth ultimate burst pressure test for our Life 1.0 commercial space station technology, achieving a rupture of 255 PSI, the highest pressure yet. With each breakthrough, we inch closer to a future where space travel is no longer an extraordinary event, but a routine part of human progress. Sierra Space's relentless innovation from Dream Chaser's cutting-edge heat shield to its visionary space station technology reminds us that the barriers to space are meant to be overcome. The path to the stars isn't just for dreamers, it's for builders, pioneers, and those bold enough to challenge the impossible.